hello my friends it's marilyn here welcome back to my channel i had not been able to be here due to health problems but i'm so glad to be back and for today i have uh, this layout that i made with the november limited edition kit and i select this paper i love it the background in this paper and look the back it's so pretty too but i prefer this side and i'm going to use this photo of my daughter paola the first thing that i'm going to do is to prime my paper and i'm using uh, clear gesso i'm going to apply this on the background and this paper is from the christmas spectacular collection that is featuring this month in the November limited edition kit and it is from 49 and market okay now I'm going to uh, frame my photo or to put a mat and I cut this from a white cardstock a little bigger than the photo and I'm using liquid glue here and I'm going to attach down here this uh, my photo and when it's ready I'm going to work on the background this is the stencil that comes this month in the kit and I'm planning to put my photo here and I'm going to use uh, the stencil with Distress Ink and this is the barn door color that match perfectly with the flowers and the papers from this collection and I take a sponge and I'm going to dab in the ink here and I'm going to apply uh, some layers in some of the design here on the background in the stencil and in some of the other areas i'm going to apply only one layer of ink so in that way i have uh, to, uh, dark uh, red tones in one area and light red in others and i uh, i'm going to place this on the top and over the green area here on the paper just to give uh, a look a festive look on this paper just to add this red tone because my photo is um, the tree is very traditional so I'm trying to use the, the same colors on the background here and I think I like how it looks let me show you the this paper so pretty I just cut some images from this paper and others you can take a look here and I'm going to use this breath that I love it is from the laser cut sheets let me show you it it is from here and I already uh, removed some of the flowers from the laser cut too and I'm planning to put the photo like you see here something like that but I think that I need something on the back and I already cut this doily from one of my dye from my stuff and I am planning to ensemble this like this the doily the red and the photo and I'm going to add dimension later on the photo here is some of the uh, laser cut flowers and some other are from the paper that I cut and I'm inking the border the white border uh, I don't know the white border bother me but if it's, if it's okay with you you don't need to ink all the borders of the different elements that you will see that I'm going to do and here I add a 3D foam tape on the back of the flower just to add a little bit of dimension and I'm adding some of the uh, leaves here and I'm using a distress oxide in color green to ink all the borders of the leaves because you know it's just I don't know <laughs> maybe it's, I am manic I don't know what you do with all these elements do you let in white or do you prefer to ink it like me let me a comment down below because sometimes I think that I am manic maybe, maybe no is uh, other people uh, like to do the same here I cut out a tiny border that the laser cut let uh, in, in these pieces and I cut with the scissor and now I'm going to add a uh, cheesecloth I think that I need more textures on the background so I am uh, I dye a piece of cheesecloth with a uh, green acrylic paint and I prefer the acrylic paint because it let the fabric very stiff and hard and it gives it brings uh, like a little more of dimension on the background and I love that but but if you prefer that the fabric stay more soft you can ink 
you can dye the fabric with the distress oxide or distress ink and it will stay smooth uh, and it avoid the dimension that I like but anyway I just I prefer the 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 acrylic paint but I want to give you uh, the two alternatives in, in case that you don't like too much dimension here I add this Santa that I love it looks more vintage look and I like it and look this so pretty the mailbox of Santa and I'm going to put it here and actually Santa because my daughter loves Santa she loves Christmas and when I see the papers and Santa I think I, I need to make something with Paola because she is number one um, fan number one of christmas and the decoration the lights she always loved all this and here's an inking also uh, this is from the ephemera packaging and i'm going to use as part of my title i love these balls and i cut it from one of the papers and i want to put this on in on the bottom part of the page and i'm adding now 3d foam tape on the back just to give a little more of dimension in this area here as you see as i told you i think that i need a little more work with red on the bottom but i'm going to let it to let this uh until the end i want to prefer to put all the elements first see what i need but because i love the white uh, space on the page but i think that i would need a little more of red work with the stencil on the bottom but i'm going to let you later now i um continue adding the different elements the flowers the stars i love that this kit comes with a lot of elements flowers you will love this kit i will let you the link and so you can go and take a look at all the things that comes in the november limited edition kit the link is down below in the description box now here i'm adding these lips with the berries here and i think that i've almost done i am trying to uh, figure out when i'm going to add the jingles and the rest of the star here but i think it's easier once i ha you have the the principal elements put it on the page the rest for me is easier okay and i think that i am almost done here I'm going to adhere all this off camera. Okay, my friends, you can see here what I did. I put this doily that you can see in this corner just to uh, make the balance with the white and in the bottom here. You can see the star. I love all the uh, dimension. And I left, I left all these, I left these things to adhere at the end because like I uh, comment before, I think that I need some stencil work. I need some stencil work uh, be in this area key beside the balls. You can see, I think that I need to continue the same here. So I'm going to add just a little, not too much, in this area. So I come back with the ink that is the Barn Door Distress Ink. And I'm going to add here, here, just a little as you see not too much and now i'm going to add here the ball and the rest of the elements the title no i decided to use the liquid glue because it gives me uh, uh, a few more time if i need to remove something it will not dry immediately and now i'm going to add the balls and i also add i remove i peel off the 3d font tape but add a little of adhesive just to secure this and once it's ready i will add the rest of the elements uh, that i have here i am pla i am playing here with the shape of the lips to see how it looks very um on the back okay now i'm going to add more elements or more uh texture and i have this star the uh, gold balls and I also I have sequins. I am planning to use this one that are transparent. And I'm using the jewel picker with this. It has a little of adhesive. Well, it's not adhesive. It's like a, well, it's a, 
It's not the easy, but it will not stay attached. It, it is easy to pick up the things. And I'm using the multimedia matter to adhere uh, the sequence and the different element here. And I'm going to start to add the sequence here. And there I'm trying to give this uh, sparkling effect on the background. And, and I'm playing with the different layers and put the sequence um, in that way because I will highlight more the layers that I create with the different elements on the background. Now I'm going to add this ball that is really is like a foam ball and I'm going to adhere it with the hot glue because I noticed when I use the hot glue, it <laughs> the hot glue melts a little the, the foam and the ball's size change to smaller and I prefer that because I am planning, maybe I will, for sure I will uh, hang uh, put this layout uh, on the wall, but later I will remove it and put it on one of my albums. So for that reason, I prefer that the gold ball stay smaller because it's less dimension for the album. Now I'm adding the, this tiny star that I love it because uh, um, I'm, well, I, I'm not a person of a lot of glitter, but in specific in Christmas layout that is more festive. I like the gold touches <laughs> and I bought the stars on the balls, the gold balls at Target some years ago. I covered my photo, I gave white splatters and you can see now the final result. Let me show you, you can see, I love it, I love it. You can see here how uh, it's wet, but I'm trying to show you the dimension and the sparkling effect of the background. Let me know if you like this uh, tutorial and layout with a thumbs up. And don't forget to check my social media and the link to the kit that is uh, right uh, on the back. And here are two more videos that maybe you are interested. I hope that you enjoy it. And I come back soon with a new video tutorial. Nos vemos, bye bye.